Hey, Jimmy Beach here with Alien Skin Software. I'm going to show you how to use scaling modes in iCandy 7. iCandy effects can adapt to your image size. That means that you can develop a preset on a low resolution image, like Corona on this little eye. And when you apply the preset to a high resolution image, the effect looks correct. Let's see how this works using animal fur. I'll use this square image, and then I'll start iCandy. In the upper right, you will see the scaling mode choice, which is either adaptive or fixed. The choice of scaling mode is saved in each preset. Like this one, most factory presets are in adaptive mode. In adaptive mode, every slider that controls a distance or size is expressed as a percent of the current image size. Here you can see that the pattern spacing is a percentage right now. In fixed scaling mode, sizes are expressed in pixels. When you switch scaling mode, you don't see any immediate change. You'll notice the difference when you apply the preset to an image of a different size. Let's try it with this leopard fur. Here I use the factory default preset for animal fur, which is in adaptive mode. I applied it to images of different sizes, as you can see. I ended up with the same number of spots. That's usually the behavior I want. Now let's see what happens when I switch the preset to fixed scaling mode. Now the spots stay the same size, and I get more of them in the larger image. There are times when fixed scaling mode is the best behavior, but they don't come up often. Some web projects are best done in fixed mode. For instance, you might want a drop shadow that is always 15 pixels offset rather than being proportional to the word size. Most of the time, leave presets in adaptive scaling mode. But if you dislike the changes in an effect when it's applied to different sized images or objects, then try fixed scaling mode. That's all for the scaling modes video. This is Jimmy Beach. See you next time.